Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you uh, monthly, my monthly cleans. Well, some of my monthly cleans, but it's an in-depth cleans. Cleans. It's an in-depth um, video on a couple of things that I clean monthly. And I really couldn't bring the video length down. So I'm really sorry it's a bit longer than I would normally do, but I hope you find it helpful and informational. So um, let's get into it. So one of the things I do monthly is the oven. Now I think it's been a little bit longer than a month because I wanted to show you this process. So there's not actually a lot in this bottom bit. There's a bit around the edges and stuff. Um, there's a few burnt chips. Um, but I'll show you what I do in here. Now these, this is the product this is the product I normally use. Um, this is absolutely amazing and actually I normally only use it for my oven but people have found this has got millions and millions of uses. It's absolutely brilliant for lots and lots of things. But seeing as Mrs Hinch has promoted it, I cannot find it anywhere or I miss the stock when it comes in and it's gone again. So I picked up this. Now I love the Abrand Astonish. Um, but I've never used this before so today we are going to use this on the oven and see if it works just as well as this there is a little bit left in this so I may find another use for this and see there is literally a, ti Ooh! a tiny weeny bit left in there so I think I might save that for something else and see if that works but I'm going to use this um, on here So I have got a little bit on the end of this cloth and I'm just going to, this is a bit thicker I think than the other one, but I'm just going to rub it all over, Ooh, show you what I'm doing, and I'm going to give it all a good coating. I do think you actually get more in the pink paste pot than you do in this. Uh, way more. This is 500 grams and this is 150. Um, so I would recommend pink paste unless this is absolutely amazing but I'll get back to you once I'm ready to clean it off. Okay, change of plan. As you can see I'd wiped it on and I was trying to spread it around but look it's bringing off the dirt and this is just an old dishcloth. It's not even a microfiber cloth. But it's literally, let's see if we can do this bit here and I can show you through the camera. But look at that. Now, I'm not sure if Pink Paste does this or not. Um, but I have literally had the tiniest bit on my cloth. Look at that. Oh my God. Um, you saw how much I put on my cloth. I haven't taken any more out of the pot. But... If I just wipe the clean glass clean, look at the difference. That is unreal. That is so fast. Now, you can see the before and that's after. That's not even like going over a second coat or anything like that. Wow. Wow. I am well and truly impressed. So like, I'm going to carry on and then I'll come back to you in a minute. So, I have just taken the glass out. Now, when the glass is out, the oven, or oven, the oven door doesn't actually stay open on its own. So, I'll just leave it back there. All I have to do on well, my oven, now please check the manuals, is unclip this little thing and the oven door comes off. Now look at that! I just want to clean on the inside and I'm going to clean this bit of the glass as well. I'm going to rub a bit of the paste on these because these really I need an oven pry to do these but I'm going to see if the paste brings this off as well so I'm going to do those on the side with the oven glass door but please be careful with glass doors I don't want anybody to break things but yeah let's get going with this little bit so I'm just going to I did bring down um, one of these non-scratch pads just to use the paste on to get a little bit of abrasion for some of the tougher marks but this cloth brought 99% of it off on its own and it's not even wet because I just thought I was spreading the paste 
So I am really chuffed, but let's get to going with the rest. I should bring my tripod down, but I'm still walking you through step by step. So because this cloth is filthy now, I will just use it to wipe the inside of the oven out just to see if we have any debris. We have got a little bit, nothing major. Oops, just dropped it. I will grab, wipe this out now, I've dropped it all down there where I wasn't meant to, but I will grab my hoover and or in fact, come here, yeah, I'll probably do it with this cloth. Just, but I'm just gonna give everything a really good deep clean. Um, now that that glass door cleaner works as well as it does, I will probably do the like top of the door just um, in my weeklies so that it keeps on top of it and it looks nice, but do the big oven deep clean um, once a month because Although they can look clean, they can get um, fat and grease and bits and pieces all over them. But this cloth has still got a remnant of, obviously, the cleaning product. And I can see it working even without, like, masses of the product on. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But, yes. So, we now have a base to work on. So, what I'm probably going to do is apply this paste inside the oven um, and I'm going to apply it in the side, uh, on the bottom and on the sides because although the lighting is really bad I can't. Let me see if I can just grab my torch. Um, it does get greasy on the sides where you're like putting your trays in and out. It actually looks greasy than it is with the camera light shining in there. But, yes, yeah, so let's get going with that. So, on to the racks. Now, I decided not to do them with pink paint, with the paste. What I'm going to do is, if I can't get stubborn bits off, I will. Now, this is um, a new... I don't really like these because I don't really like the feel, but this is a different one. This is Spontex range, and it says it traps grease so it's not on the surface, but... Um, I found them really good, so what I've done is I've laden it very heavy with wash, fairy washing up liquid because I find that's the best. And I am just going to go over and see, look, I don't know if you can see that there. Let's see if I can turn it around. Mm, you can see how silver it is compared to the rest. How easy it actually comes off. So I'm going to give them a really good clean like this and then see if there's any stubborn bits left. Ta-da! So it isn't perfect, but if you look at it compared to that one, it's a vast, vast, vast improvement. Um, I don't find that I need them perfect, it doesn't bother me, but obviously if you wanted to, these would continue to come off, but I, my wrist is now hurting. So if I wanted them absolutely sparkling and pristine, I would use Oven Pride, but I don't really like to use it in... Um, because of all the chemicals in it. Now, if I sat, let's see, in a better light, one second, I can show you over here, where the light is perfect. This was the old one, well, not old, dirty one. And this is the clean one. So that, to me, is amazing compared to that. If you look at them, side by side, on top of each other, well they're not on touch it, well I I'm not finished wiping it down yet anyway, I'm rinsing it, but if you look at them side by side that is so much better. Now I have finished inside the oven so I'll just give you a sneak peek. Ta-da! And there was no scrubbing, look at that shine, and in there it's all nice and clean now. So that is my oven done and it probably is taking me, I don't know, um, about 15 minutes to this point. Obviously, I've got the other one to scrub, but I will do that a little bit later on and give my hands a rest because my wrist joints are hurting. So, yes, so that's um, one of my monthly jobs. So, something else I like to clean um, weekly is my, no, month, weekly, monthly is the PVC on the front door. Um, excuse my handmade number three because we're fed up of people knocking thinking we were number one but is to give this a good clean now it's 
a lot of it is just like dust and stuff but anything harder I will use my last of my pink paste so I'm going to give it a good clean with my cloth that's just got hot soapy water on and see what's left to do after that oh this is rubbish let's zoom you in a bit little things like this sticky marks and bits that just don't come off with the hot soap cloth then I will use some of my pink stuff on things like this and give it a bit of a scrub and let me just wipe that off because I put way too much on there but as you can see with very very little effort they've all gone let's see if we can find some more so I can show you some more bits. Let's bring you down to the letterbox. As you can see, there's quite a few little marks and stuff. I don't know if these will come off. Um, using pink paste on PVC is something quite new to me. Like I said, I normally just used it on... Wow, I wish I'd done like a close-up of that, real close-up for you. But it's literally, do you like you use cream cleaners in your bathtub um, and they bring off all the little scuff marks and things like that? Well, this is what this is doing. It's literally bringing off all the little scuff marks. Um, obviously, this paste leaves a residue, so I will go back round with like a hot soapy cloth. But I am now just going to go round and target little areas that have got let's see if I can show you these ones really zoomed in let's see let's see let's see let's zoom it out a little bit so can you see that one just there under the handle so I'm still using the same bit of pink paste that's on the little finger and can you see? Literally no effort, there's no real pressure being put on there and it's all gone. So let's see if it will mark like this. This is like a scuff mark you get in the bath. Ta-da! Magic! Um, I'm actually now wondering whether any kind of cream cleaner, so like the ones you use in your bathtub, um, whether that will work if you can't get hold of pink paste um, it's definitely worth a try you've no no uh, harm in trying with that but if you can get hold of the pink stuff it, it would be better all right let me just see if i can make my tripod as small as possible and show you these marks um, where, where am I? Where am I? So, we have some marks, and I've still not put any more pink paste um, on my cloth. So, we've got these ones down here that are like sticky marks. Um, look at that! There is some paint on this door, but it is literally bringing off, just like your bathroom all those nail polish marks you get in the bathtub I don't know if it's just me or anybody else can ends up with nail polish marks but I know I do so yeah I'm gonna carry on and clean the whole door and then I'll show you when it's finished so we are back I ended up actually where I had cleaned marks and stuff there was lots of sticky residue there is a tiny bit left that may go back over now where it's clean but anyway once I'd like cleaned areas I could see that wiping this hot soapy water hadn't brought just the general whiteness of the PVC up as clean as where I'd cleaned with the pink paste so on a wet um, hot wet cloth I put the paste on so that it would spread easier so I could spread it round in not a thick concentrate and basically cleaned the door from top all the way down to the bottom and I also did this side as well but the lights with pants in here um, oh focus but yes I did the whole door on this side as well and the colour when I rinsed the cloth was oh hello pussycat the colour was absolutely disgusting so it showed what hot soapy water didn't bring off 
but I am amazed there isn't one like mark on here there was lots and lots of marks that I couldn't get off before I will definitely be using it's on PVC on like my inside of my windows and stuff like that when I can get another pot because I'm not quite sure whether I can use the astonish paste I might just try a bath cream cleaner but we will see but yes definitely one to try with a cream cleaner so that's job another job done that I've done um, monthly I also do monthly is the house doors. Now I dust them everywhere but once a month I like to give them a real good scrub. Um, I will, if there is obvious marks and finger marks, give them a quick wipe but I do like to give them a scrub once a month. And I also normally do glass once a month. Now it isn't due to be done just yet but I'm going to show you the products I use on this part of the glass door as it is a window essentially just in a door <laughs> so I'm going to tie the two of them together so I'm just going to get my products ready and then I'll show you what I use so I've got like a um, pinky but I can't remember whose brand this were but they were like I think I got it Asda actually I think they were maybe Asda's brand 3 for 99p and I have to go with that some of my comfort and water mix and then for the glass, I have got a good old, it's not Tesco's Fabric Freshener, it is Sephora and water and a microfiber and I may need a bit of kitchen roll but first I'm going to go the doors so I'm just going to give them all a good spray. Like you say, like Mrs Hinch says, you don't want, this is new idea to me, I would normally use soapy water but I'm going to give this a go um, as something different. And like she says, you don't want something that's too harsh on your paintwork. Um, so I am just going to give them all a good wipe. Now, the, you will notice in this house that, oh gosh, I'm not really concentrating on where the camera angles are. But in the, Alfie, as you will notice in this house, all the doors need a good repaint. They need stripping because they have 20 million layers of paint on them and we are going to do them one at a time by being dipped. Um, if you don't know what dipping is, it's where you can send them off to company and they dip it in some chemicals that literally pull all the paint off because if it's that thick that it actually peels in places. So. I, I, do, I can go a little bit harsher on my doors, but at the moment I'm just obviously giving them a good clean. Um, sometimes these doors you can clean them and they just don't look clean. I can't wait to get new ones. Well, not new ones, but freshly painted doors. So I've just gone over that. See, there's just marks and stuff that just will not come off. But even though I still give them a clean because then I know they're clean. They may not look the best, but I know they're clean. So on to glass. I have tried so many glass cleaners and I just not found one that I've really wanted to stick with. And then I tried to, in fact, I didn't try it. I sprayed the flora on my windowsill and I got it all over the glass. So I went over it and buffed it and it shone. And I was like, wow. So I now just do them with this. So what I'll probably do is I'll go over it with this. So I'll give it a good work in, get rid of all the dirt and stuff that's on there, the microfiber will trap all that. So I will start with just one piece because I don't want them all to get wet um, if I need another one. So that I'm using less and less. I will just try and take as much as the excess off. And at this point you think it. In fact, it doesn't show up on the camera. Oh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But you just have to keep try drying, not trying. Get another dry piece and buff. Now, obviously, I'm going to go and do the other side. And when I do the other side, because obviously it doesn't look clean, clean now because of this dirt on the other side. There we go. Now, you could have, I'm hoping it caught it before, but... It was all smearing stuff. Now you can see how well the light shining through. Excuse ladders, I am cleaning the downstairs shower room. Um, but yes, it cleans glass absolutely amazingly. So it's very quick. 
just need, I would say, your three cloths, your microfiber to give it a good wipe. One that's pretty, that you use to take the most of the moisture off and one to buff to dry. Um, but these cloths are done obviously inside now and I can still use them for probably another maybe two windows inside and out. So yeah. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. There will be a weekly one coming soon and we'll see, I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 500 now. See you soon.